What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at a beautiful iPhone 13 Pro that is unfortunately stuck on the activation lock screen. Before we do anything, let's look at the computer. I have it connected to 3U tools, and as you can clearly see under activated, it says no. This phone is currently locked to the previous owner and completely unusable. I'm going to show you how to fix this using the iRemoval GSMG tool, but first let's head over to the official GSM Germany website. Once you're in the iRemoval section, you'll see the tool we're using today, but before we get into the software, there is a golden rule. You must register your device. This whitelists your hardware on the secure servers so the activation actually sticks. Now, before we continue with the tool, I want to show you a completely different, 100% legal alternative, the server method. In 2026, there are really only two ways to do this. While we love tools, the server method is even simpler because it requires zero flashing and no software. It relies on Apple's own official support to unlock the device, provided you can prove the device is yours. To show you how this works, look at this iPhone 15 Plus from one of my clients. I performed a specialized clean slash lost check on GSM Germany. As you can see, the result is clean. We can see the exact purchase date and even the name of the company that originally sold the phone. This data is gold. GSM Germany then generate a professional receipt based on that info. With this receipt, we go straight to the official Apple support page dedicated to activation lock requests. You just enter your email and the device IMEI. Apple sends a verification code to your inbox, and once confirmed, they recognize your device. Here, you fill out the form using the data we got from the check, the vendor, the date, and so on. I'll just put in some placeholder info here for the demo. But look at this next page. In the final step, you simply upload the receipt we generated. It's a completely legal method done directly with Apple without any external tools. I'll explain that more in another video. But let's get back to our iPhone 13 Pro. Once your device is registered on the website, download the tool and run it. The iRemoval GSMG tool interface is super intuitive. It detects the iPhone 13 Pro instantly and confirms the IMEI is authorized. Now let's click Activate. The process will take a few more minutes, so feel free to skip ahead so the video isn't too long. Now we just wait for the magic to happen. 
While the progress bar moves, let me explain what's happening under the hood. We aren't just skipping a screen. The tool is performing a kernel-level memory injection. The A15 Bionic chip in this Pro model has a security coprocessor called the SEP, or Secure Enclave, that guards the encryption keys. Our 2026 exploit allows the tool to communicate with the SEP during boot-up to perform a neural engine recalibration. Modern iOS uses AI to detect system tampering, but our patch modifies the root partition and the baseband tokens. This way, when the iPhone tries to connect to Apple's servers, it receives a spoofed authorization code that looks 100% authentic. It's a hardware-level handshake, which ensures the unlock is permanent and your 5G signal stays stable. And there we go, the tool says successfully activated, but the real proof is on the PC. The iPhone 13 Pro is rebooting now, and boom, we are straight into the home menu, no trace of the lock. But we aren't stopping there. Watch this, I'm going into settings and logging in with a completely new iCloud account. As you can see, the server accepts it immediately with no errors. Face ID works perfectly, the app store is ready, and the iPhone is exactly like it just came out of the box. This is the power of the GSMG method in 2026. If this tutorial helped you recover your device, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. If you have any questions about the registration or the IMEI check, join my Telegram group in the description. We provide support 24-7. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.